Hey, what's up guys? Back again with another video in the JavaFX series. This episode I'll be teaching about the toggle buttons and the radio buttons within JavaFX, which are another type of button that we can learn to use within JavaFX GUI applications. You know, so far we learned about the regular button and then the menu button, but we can move on to these now. So yeah, um, last episode we learned our first group type um, button, I guess I would call it. So we, we have a bunch of little um, menu items and then we add it to a big group item, right? A menu button component. So this episode we'll be showing you something similar with toggle buttons and there's toggle groups. So you add each toggle button object to a toggle group. So let me show you. Um, the first thing we want to do is have a bunch of options. So let's just create a bunch of color options. So the first thing we'll do is make a new toggle button. And this will represent one of the options. So we'll just call this button one is equal to new toggle button. Okay, and then we're gonna give this to the color blue. So this is gonna be the the name for it, of course. And then we could do some more buttons here if we want to. So let me just add some more real quick. And this one's gonna be pink. So pink like that. And then one more here. Toggle button button three is equal to new toggle button. So these are a special type of button where if you click them, it'll show that the button is selected and then you can unselect it too. So it's a selectable type of button, kind of different from what we've been doing. So, um, and then we're going to add all these three button options to a toggle group so that they're all linked together. So button group is equal to new toggle group. Just like that. And so now that we have this toggle group here, we need to somehow add these options here, these toggle buttons to the button group, right? So to do that, we have to go to each button, button one dot set toggle group, and then we could put pass in the group object like that. So we have to do that for each one. So let's just get do it. Let's do that. So button group and then button three finally, and then set toggle button group. Okay. So now all these buttons are added to the toggle group. So then we can just add all the buttons to this um, thing here. So we could do button one, button two, dot, and then button three. So even though this button group repre represents all three of these buttons, you still have to add all three of the buttons manually to the root node, okay? Because this is not like the last episode where we made a menu button, okay? It's it's a toggle group, so it's not actually a concrete component. It's more of a, a, a grouping type of thing. It's hard to explain, but yeah, we added them here, so let's try running this and see what it looks like. So it should uh, look pretty cool, I guess. It's not going to look spectacular, of course, because we haven't styled the buttons at all. But look, we have our three buttons here. And then we could select this one here. And then as you can see, it goes like, um, it's like gray. So it basically represents that it's selected. And then we can unselect it. And then now it's back to normal. And so we can select it, unselect it, select it, unselect it. So we could do it just like that. And only one button can be selected at a time. So very, very simple. So that's just a type of options type menu. So if you have a bunch of different options, like last episode, basically. But this time we can have them you know, selectable and stuff like that. But anyway, you get the point. So um, if you want to somehow make it so that we can find out whether a button was selected or not, we could do the same thing we've been doing, like um, a button one dot set uh, on action. And then we could create the Lambda that we've been doing, but that isn't really gonna work for what we wanna do because every time they deselect it and select it, it's gonna trigger the on action event. So there's a better way to test and see if the button was selected with a change event or something like that. It's called change something event, but it's a little more complicated. So we're not going to go over that this episode, but don't worry, we'll be going over that in the future. So yeah, at least you know how to make the button. So that's just the important part for now what we're learning. Okay. So anyway, there's one more type of button we can add to those toggle group and that's going to be a radio button and a radio button is very similar. It's basically um, something that you see very often on web pages. It's so let me just show you what it looks like. So radio button, we can give it a name. I'll call R1 is equal to new radio button. Let's give it a name of, um, Let's call it, let's give it a color name. So we're going to do brown. Okay. And so now we can add this to our root node here. So R1, we're not going to add it to the toggle group yet, but I'll show you what it looks like first. Okay. So let's see what we got. So it's basically just one of those, uh, these little, I forgot what they're called, but, but yeah, you see the button, right? It looks very similar to these, except that it's a little, uh, a dot thing, a checkbox type thing. So yeah. Um, so now we can add it to the toggle group, so only one of these can be selected at once. So that's the cool thing with toggle group, you can add any of these. You can add a toggle button or you can add a radio button to the toggle group because radio button is actually a child or a, I mean a subclass of toggle button or something like that. I don't know the exact hierarchy for that, but uh, yeah, it extends toggle button. So yes, that's, that's makes sense. So it's basically inheriting everything. So anyway, let's go ahead and add this to our thing here. So r one dot set toggle group. 
and then we can do button group just like that and so now it's going to add it so let's just go and add one more by the way so we can just show you that only one can be selected at a time so we'll call this um we'll give her name green that's her final color and then let's add that one to the component okay or to the uh the root node so now it's running so we can see that um we have all these buttons here but only one of them can be selected at a time so now this one is selected right here but for example if we click one of these that's going to be unselected or wait oh that makes sense we didn't add it okay i was confused for a second <laughs> so button group and then now now that one's added to the button group so we can restart this thing here and now it should only have one selected at a time so first we select the first one and then now we select this one and then yeah as you can see that one was unselected so yeah you get the point right very very simple we're going to be getting much more practice on how to actually use these in a real world application in the future so don't worry the most important thing for these episodes that i'm doing right now is showing you how these things work okay and of course this would be episode 10 right but yeah y'all get the point but yeah one more thing i want to show you before we go is that there's different methods that you can grab from these uh objects that you're creating here so you can get some information like which button is selected so we can do for example button one dot and then y'all you have all these different options here and you'll get familiar with all these options in the future when you actually start coding real world real world applications so for example we have is selected so if you want to create an if statement and then see if that button in particular is selected you could do that um so yeah you have a bunch of cool stuff you know basic stuff and then um, for the toggle group itself, we could do button group, button group dot, and then you can get selected toggle, oops. And then you have this one here, get user data, which is gonna work with the change event that I told you about a second ago, which will be useful. So we'll show, you, we'll show you that in the future, like I said. And then you have set user data, select toggle, get toggles, get selected toggle, that's useful so we can figure out which of these buttons are selected, right? So it's gonna return a toggle um, object here, but you can basically cast it to a radio button or a toggle button. But anyway, um, y'all get the point. So if you have any questions about what I showed you this episode, you can ask in the comment section below. I'll be glad to help you. Um, but I'd rather you join our Discord server, like I always say. So you can join our Discord server and then uh, hang out with us there or ask questions, whatever you want to do. We have about 300 people there. So, yep, enjoy. And then all the code for today's episode is going to be in the description below. So make sure to check that out also. So bookmark that for future use in case you forget how to do anything, okay? And then finally, if you want to support this channel, you can go below this video or on the channel page and click the join button. And then you can join this channel as a member. And then you can donate a certain amount of money per month, you know, to support me and support my efforts to be the best programming channel on the internet. And that's it. So if you like this video, leave a like. If you want to see more, subscribe and peace.